I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you examples on linear system applications. We are almost at the end. In this set of videos, we have considered linear systems involving problems related to revenue, age, mixture, interest, distance, speed, and time, and so on. Uh, I hope this list has been useful for you. Now here is a test question for you, question number 10. The question is, the perimeter of a rectangular lot is 190 meters. The property owner chooses fencing that costs $1.15 per meter for the length at the front of the property and $1.10 per meter for the remaining three sides of the property. The total cost of fencing is $2,175. Determine the length and width of the lot. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. So as we have done with all the examples, we'll begin with sketching. So we have a rectangular plot. Let's say this is the rectangular plot. And let's call one of the sides as the front side Okay, let's say this is the front side, which is more expensive. <sighs> Let the dimensions be L for length and W for width. The cost of this front side is at the rate of $15 per meter, right? This is $15 per meter. And the others is at the rate of $10 per meter, right? The values are in dollars, of course. Total cost is given to us as 2175. We are also given that the perimeter of the rectangular lot is 190 meters. Now since L is the length, W is the width, perimeter is what? 2 times length plus width equals to 190. So that gives us length plus width is half of 190, right? So uh, so you can divide this 95 so you can write length as 95 minus w is it okay so you can write length in terms of width you could write width in terms of length also so that becomes one of our equations we'll call them as equation one now the second equation we can get from the cost since cost of these three sides is 10 and the fourth one is 15, we can write 10 times L plus 10 times W plus 10 times W plus 15 times L equals to total cost 2175. Does it make sense to you? Right. Now we have two different variables. So it's a good practice to write in one variable. So let's combine these terms. 10 plus 10 is 20. So we have 20w plus 25l. Is it okay? Equals to 2175. And now we'll replace l with 95 minus w. So we have 20w plus 25 times 95 minus w equals to 2175. So that gives you an equation which is in terms of only one variable. Is it okay? So we can open this up. We get 20w. 25 times 95. Let's do. 25 times 95 equals to 2375. Okay. So we have plus 2375 minus 25w equals to 2175. Is it okay? Now let's bring constants to one side, variables on the other. So we have 2375 minus 2175 equals to 25w minus 20w, right? So let's do this difference 2375 minus 2175 equals to 200. So we have 200 equals to 5w. And then W will be 200 divided by 5. Let's divide this by 5. 40. So the width is 40. How about length? 
length is 95 minus 40 right so we get length as 95 minus 40 which is 55 right and the units are in meters let's write down meters here and we can write down our answer as the dimensions are 40 meter by 55 meters is it okay so that is how you could actually solve such a question so here we are given cost and the perimeter and i hope you understand how we use that variable cost to find the equation and then isolated one of the variables substituted and calculated the answer i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you can always share and like my videos feel free to subscribe and post comments thank you and all the best <laughs>